All right, so we just opened up our T-Rex 100S Super Combo, and I'm sure there's those of you out there who are beginners who probably don't know what to do, maybe a little bit in over your heads here, and I was there at one point. And I see there's not a T-Rex 100S build video, so that's what me and my daughter are going to show you to do today. Um, if you know what you're doing, unless you want to stare at some pretty T-Rex 100 parts, you probably won't want to watch this. But we'll take you step by step, and I'll try to make it quick, okay? So, here we go. Just hold that. So, first off, obviously, you need to take the tape off of here. Some of the stuff is going to come out with it, like the canopy. Here's your main body. Okay. And here is what you call the canopy. And here, I think these are just extra parts. I don't think you're actually going to use these for your build right now. Those look like they're just extras. So, what you want to do, part number one, is you're going to need to take this screwdriver here. And there is a little screw in here in the main shaft. There it is. And you're going to take that screw out because you're going to need to fit. See there? I don't think it focuses very good. But it's a screw that's right in there. And like I said, you're going to need to take that out in order to fit the main shaft. What I have is a magnetic bowl. I don't have it right now, but it catches all your tiny little parts. So now you're going to put this, are you recording it? You're going to put this top half onto the aluminum main shaft, and you're going to press it down. You're going to make sure these servo arms, I should say servo linkages, are in the washout base, which is in between there. Make sure they're not free floating. And you're going to snap your links on if you can get them on there. There's the first one. How are you doing, Michelle? You okay? Mm -hmm. And there's the second one. So really that's all there is to this uh, assembly there. Um, as far as this part, it's not too much. But as a beginner, like I said, it might seem like a big deal to you. But again, you just take the little dangling servo links, the uh, eight long eight-looking links. Um, you might wonder into the shorter or the longer. Yeah, it's your preference. I think the longer makes it a little bit more kind of faster. Um, more reactive. I think the shorter ones are the ones that make it more stable for beginners. Um, so there you go. And like I said, um, you have taken that screw off, so you want to make sure you put the screw back on. I won't do that right now because I don't want to uh, lose the screw. Well, actually, it goes on there magnetically, so I'll just pop that back on real quick as part of the build. You don't have to show this, Michelle. Okay. They know what I'm doing. I'll tell you if I need you to. Okay, but it really looks better. Okay. So there you go. All right, so that's the helicopter part. This part, you want to take your sticker off, and that will actually allow you to... Turn the hell Oh, that's weird. It's still on there. Okay. I thought that would have taken out the whole decal. So you're going to pop that open, obviously. And now... Michelle, stop making noises, please. You're going to pop that open. What's that mean? You're going to take your batteries out. Something I'm all over the place. I'm doing. Quit making noises, Sean. Don't say anything. So you're going to put the batteries in here. I think I dropped one. There it is. OK. 
Okay. So you got your batteries put in. Whoop. Slide that right on. God, it's a slippery little controller. As far as your canopy, um, it's pretty easy. You just slide it on. Match up the four holes. Oops. Two holes on each side. So the first one is there. The other one. If you guys have played with an MSR, you know it's very similar. Very, very similar. And that's my that was my beef with this T Rex 100 when it first came out. I said we don't need another fixed pitch. Jeez. Um, okay, so there's the canopy put on. And then you have your battery, which conveniently in the combo pack comes with two of them. So initially what you're going to do for the very first time that you're going to do this, um, you're going to do what's called binding. And by binding, you're going to slide this metallic part. This part is going to slide right into there, and that's going to actually power it on. So slide it in. And this is my very first time doing this too, guys. So, that's, and you're going to see that blinking LED. Okay. So then, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, turn this on, and it's binding, and it just made a noise. You'll hear like a little, like a, you'll hear a little servo noise, and you'll know that it is bound. And if you want to show that, Michelle, and you'll know too because your helicopter arms will now be moving. Your throttle will now work, okay, and it says if you're not going to be using your transmitter for a long period of time to take the battery out, I think it's because the batteries will die. Um, so the battery is in, I think that's all I need to show you guys. And from now on, now that it's bound, you'll want to turn your transmitter on first and then plug your battery to your helicopter on, um, in. Um, and of course you have your charging cables, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, you put, put this into the USB port, plug this into the uh, charging module, it'll charge your batteries for you. Um, so there you have it, um, this is the small guy, it's the, the smaller brother of all the, uh, the big guys, so there you have them, okay folks, thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.